Hey guys, Shock here from Shocky Tech and in today's video we are going to be doing a long-term review of the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. This has been my daily driver for a whole bunch of months and now what I'm going to do is I am going to do a long-term review of this product. In this video I'm going to specifically focus on all the things that I like and also I'm going to mention a couple of cons about this smartphone. So let's dive in and get started right away. Now first I'm going to talk about the pros and then I'm going to mention the cons towards the end of the video. And of course there is going to be links down below to get the S23 Ultra at the lowest possible pricing and with the best incentives. So anyway let's dive in and get started right away. So the very first thing I'm going to quickly talk about is the display. The display shape and the display quality on this phone is top notch. Watching movies, playing games, watching YouTube videos feels absolutely amazing. One of the things I really like about this phone also is the fact that it's got high brightness. So it can go up to 1750 nits of peak brightness, which is very useful when you're staring at this phone under direct sunlight or in daytime conditions where the ambient light is so bright many other phones you can barely make what's on the screen with this one it is bright and clear so you can easily use the camera check your notifications whatever no matter how bright the daytime light is so an extremely bright and crisp display and finally with the screen one thing i like is i like the little hole punch cutout now obviously if there was nothing there that would be perfect but the hole punch cutout compared to the iPhone 14 Pro Max's pill shape cutout which is significantly larger than this one allows for minimum intrusion on the screen which goes back to simply being able to enjoy movies better without having a larger cutout staring at you through the movie. So that's the display and one more thing that plays very well with the display is the sound. The speakers on this phone are in fact phenomenal. So combine the display with the great speakers that also support Dolby sound, you do get a great multimedia experience. A lot of phones give you that experience, but this one just happens to give you one of the best experiences. Great display, great sound. It's like having a mini high definition TV at your fingertips. Now the next thing I want to talk about that has been very important for me particularly is the actual microphone quality. So when I use this product to shoot videos, whether that's me talking into the camera or if I'm capturing something uh, nature wise, I've noticed that the, the microphone quality has been very well calibrated and I prefer this over the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Let me give you two examples. In the first example, I'm gonna be talking to the camera so you can see how clear my voice is. Even when I'm outside in windy conditions, it stabilizes everything perfectly. And the next example, I'm gonna give you simply a scene where I've captured nature, maybe the sound of water, and you can just tell that these are high quality microphones. They do not produce cheap quality sound. So I'm out here and you can see the quality of the microphone is in fact quite amazing. It is slightly raining outside today, but uh, you can also hear the sound of the rain plus me talking in a crystal clear fashion. And there's also a very slight wind, which you probably are not picking up because uh, these microphones do a great job of controlling the wind noise. Alright, so that's the microphone quality. Next thing I want to talk about is the battery life. The battery life on this phone is amazing. We do have a 5000 milliamp hour battery. Once it is fully charged, it is going to easily last you a full day, even with heavy duty tasking. So I can use this to watch videos, listen to music, browse social media, take photos, record videos in a balanced combination and it's just going to last me all day. At the end of the day, I'm still going to have some battery life left over. So the battery life on this phone, without a question, is one of the best in the market right up there with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now the next thing I want to talk about that's very important to me personally and also very important to a lot of people that follow me is the fact that the phone has limitless customization 
and exceptional software features. Let me give you a couple examples. So the one thing I would like to talk about is video wallpapers. You can set any video wallpaper on this phone, on the lock screen, that makes this phone exceptionally unique. It's just a cool feature to have. It is customizable, meaning you can download thousands of wallpapers from the store, and I'm showing you some examples right now of how gorgeous they can look. But on top of that, you can turn around and you can make your own video and turn that into a video wallpaper. I can go out there and shoot a beautiful waterfall. And then I can take that video and I can turn that into a wallpaper. I can do the same thing with videos of my kids, videos of my pets, or videos of whatever. The point is that the uh, possibilities are limitless. And that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to customization. You got so much more you can do. You can also download an exclusive app known as GoodLock that gives you all these additional modules that you can use to make deep changes to your phone and truly make it exactly the way you want it. And the best part is it's all optional. You pay all that money and it's there for you to play with it. Other phones, you pay all that money, you don't get all that extra stuff. And for me, that is an important feature to have. Now, talking about customization, I also wanna talk about the feature richness of the phone. So again, for example, this phone has a unique feature known as secure folder. I can create a secure folder inside which I can hide my private photos, my private videos, private files, private messages that I don't want other people to see. So I can put all those things inside a secure folder under a password lockdown so other people cannot see it when I just give them my phone. So you got a place to hide all those nasty photos. But it doesn't end there. That's again, tip of the iceberg. You also have Samsung DeX built into this phone. That means you can project this phone onto a bigger TV or a bigger screen wired or wirelessly and use it as a computer. That's right. You can attach a keyboard and a mouse using Bluetooth to this phone and then project the phone to a TV and you are able to get a desktop-like environment. Again, it's an option that's there if you want to use it. So that's customization and that's uh, Samsung features. The next thing I want to talk about is a super unique function only available in its current form on the S23 Ultra and other S phones that support the S Pen. So we're talking about the S Pen. It is a unique product. It's got unique features. You can use it to navigate your phone. You can use it to access unique functionality, software functionality that can add to your productivity. It can make your daily life easier as far as working with your smartphone. And of course, its primary function is that you can write with precision. You can take notes, or if you want, you can draw something artistic if you have the skill to do so. Again, the, the S Pen is so sensitive, so precise, you can easily create a masterpiece if you have the skill and patience to do it. And on top of that, final thing about the S Pen is it is also a remote control. You can use the S Pen to control your phone remotely. You can use it to take photos, record videos, simply use the S Pen as a remote shutter button, or you can even use it as a slide show control. You can also control your photo. So I'm in the gallery right now. You can see by pressing the pen button, I can go back and forth between all these photos. So the S Pen itself is a highly valuable tool with multiple features built into it. That alone makes the phone worth the price. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the camera. I'm gonna put it this way. The camera, in fact, is amazing for the everyday consumer. It is one of the top cameras on the market. Very easy to just point and shoot and get great photos. But then on top of that, you also get some extreme options that many other phones don't allow. For example, with the camera, if you want to, 
you get all the basics. You know, you get 1080p recording, you get 4K recording. It's all high quality. So when I do take regular photos or videos uh, with my camera, it's always, almost always high quality, unless you wanna be a little scientist and pick on everything, which 99% of consumers don't do. But in addition to those regular shots, I can go to the extremes. I can do 8K video recording at 30 frames per second to get highly detailed shots. I can take photos up to 200 megapixels that I can zoom in and they still retain some really good quality. I can take 100x zoom shots. So I can zoom into things far away from me and see them pretty clearly. You can do 10 times zoom, you can do 30 times zoom, you can do 50 times zoom, you can go all the way to 100 times zoom, which I think is an incredible capability on these phones. Again, to be very clear, as an everyday consumer camera, this is one of the best cameras on the market that is widely available. But then on top of that, you are getting extreme options that many other phones can only dream about. So that is what my impression of the camera is. There really is nothing wrong that I can say unless I specifically wanna be a scientist and pick on every little uh, imperfection that is possible with any product. Just to give you one more example with this camera and how good it is, just as a regular camera, here's a photo I took at nighttime of my motorbike and you can barely see it. And then here is the same photo taken at the same exact time with the night mode. So without me having to do any trickery, I'm getting this amazing result from the night mode that makes the photo look like it was taken during the daytime, even though it was almost pitch black with minimum lights in the area. So great camera, can't really say anything bad about the camera, both for video and photos. Now I do wanna quickly talk about the design. I specifically like the rectangular boxy design of this phone. I think it looks nice, clean, sleek, and professional. The front is beautiful. I think it's one of the best looking phones on the market. I do think it looks better than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And on the rear, we have a nice clean slab of design. It is also not reflective. It's more like a matte finish, which is what I prefer. It's all built from the highest premium materials. And that's the latest Gorilla Glass Victus build. So when it comes to design, this thing is absolutely amazing. It's gorgeous. You're paying all that money for it. It 100% feels like a million dollars when you hold it in your hands and when you look at it. All right, so we talked about some of the good things that I like about this phone. Now I wanna talk about things, uh, some of the cons about this phone. And there's only a couple. Uh, the first one is uh, the price. And even though you do get a lot for the price of $1,200 on this phone, there is one thing you don't get that some other manufacturers around the world are able to offer even for less money. And that's the fact that you don't get a charger in the box, you don't get a screen protector pre-installed like you used to. Even Samsung used to include a screen protector in the past with their phones, not anymore. And you don't get a starter case. You just get the phone and you get the cable, which I think is unacceptable, but it's just happening anyway. Now, the other thing I wanna talk about has to do with the charging speeds of the battery. Again, there are some manufacturers out there like Redmi phones that can charge from zero to 100 in around 10 minutes. So you, you can have a dead battery and you plug the charger and in 10 minutes, it's fully charged. The Samsung takes one hour to fully charge still. But if there's other phones out there that are much cheaper, that can charge so much faster, I think Samsung can at least make the charging go from maybe 45 watts max to 75 watts. So maybe I can charge my phone fully from zero to 100 in 30 minutes. But that's the only other con I can think of when I think about this phone. Mostly this phone is a perfect phone with minimum compromises. Everything inside this phone is built with premium materials. So it is a premium smartphone. It's worth every penny, but 
I think they should think about those improvements of giving us additional accessories in the box and also faster charging on uh, upcoming models. All right, so I think that brings us to the end of this video. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below, let me know. You can tell me the pros and cons in your experience about this smartphone. Drop those comments down below and let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?